so I guess there's here's a door. A little storage compartment, maybe. So that's pretty cool. Um, not seeing anywhere where you could open up the... Holy crap, okay. Um, that's pretty cool. So here's our engine. Um, I don't even know the specs on the engine, so I can't even tell you. But this looks cool. Well, I guess... Oh, that is cool. Getting out and actually coupling to your trailers. That's that's pretty realistic. We'll have to have this truck tow this much weight and have it tow a trailer with a bunch of weight on it just to see if they can do it. There's Who would order this much wood and metal pipe? Um, I don't know. You must be building a house or something. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wade Farms' YouTube channel. Today we will be testing out the new BeamMG Drive update 0 0.31, some new map updates, and, well, you're looking at it right now. The new fabulous flat-nosed semi-truck. I can't wait to get into BeamMG Drive and drive this thing. This thing looks so good. There's so many options for this truck too. Change the load on it, the suspension, the engine. There's a lot of interior options. So you have to stay tuned to, I guess, find all those options out. But let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, um, I really appreciate um, the attention to detail. See, I have never been in one of these, you know, older flat-nosed semis. Um... I don't even know if this looks close to what it should look like. I'm thinking yes. It just looks absolutely great. Um, got your door. Should be like a hood latch, maybe. Um, but you can see you have, you know, uh, your ignition's right here. So that just shut the semi off. I guess that's... That's the start button, so I think when you have it off, you have to flip the key and then press this for it to start. Um, that is compression brake 100%, 66, 33, 0, 33, so um, yeah, I guess cent center differential mode locked. Uh, I don't think we need that. Let's, well, I guess that just revs the thing up for us. Looks like, is that parking brake? That says parking brake. Trailer air supply disenabled. Enabled. Oh, huh. so that's, that's pretty cool. I don't see any more interactive things, so we'll go ahead and get out of the semi. So I guess there's, here's a door. A little storage compartment, maybe. So that's pretty cool. Um, not seeing anywhere where you could open up the, holy crap, okay. Um, that's pretty cool. So, here's our engine. Um, I don't even know the specs on the engine, so I can't even tell you, but this looks cool. Alright, so it's like right here, it's these handles, so you can grab each one of those, and it'll open, I guess, another storage compartment. Okay, I'm assuming up the door opens. So that's pretty cool. We'll go ahead and close that. This is the flatbed one. Um, I'm not sure this is as much weight as we can tow. Um, well, I guess. Oh, that is cool. Getting out and actually coupling to your trailers. That's, that's pretty realistic. We'll have to have this truck tow this much weight and have it tow a trailer with a bunch of weight on it just to see if they can do it. There's only one engine option. There's different um, superchargers. Uh, they may be superchargers or turbochargers. Um, there's, uh, you can get like, you know, flat nose, so really short and small, or you can get really long configuration like this. Um, I like the upfit one, or I don't know if they have a, yeah, they do have a dump trailer one, um, but I like one that's, 
this you know configuration is you know the bigger cab but enough talk we'll get in here we'll actually hop in this thing and drive it um i haven't played beam and g drive since uh, it's been quite a long time i played like two weeks before this new update so i think this is this manual transmission okay yes it is all right um synchronizer damage that's nothing new um still used to that but I don't know if I have enough gears in my transmission for this I know the other semi I didn't uh, well, I'm just gonna see so I put it in my, uh, my seventh gear slot and there's only it says there's only five gears in this thing so it seems like it's like I have a steering well it's slanted road so it seems like it's like has no power I'm concerned what will happen if we try to tow with it uh oh oh that's a little weird uh this thing better not just only do 47 as a top speed I'm looking I'm looking for more than that. So yeah, wait, is this, is there? I see a transfer. Oh, overdrive. So this is, oh, so this is high mode now. Okay. I was gonna say, I was like, there's no way the semi will only be able to do like 60 miles per hour. That doesn't seem right. Let's turn some lights on. See some of those gauges. I, I uh, like how the radio also turns on for its lights. That's pretty cool. I mean, this thing, hold on. Hey Google, what is 10,000 pounds, 10,000 kilograms to pounds? No, no, no. Hey, hey Google, how, uh, 10,000 kilograms to pounds? So like 22,000 pounds we have on the back of this um, semi right now. And we're like max speed going 80. So that's pretty impressive. Yeah, see, so 80. So I'm wondering what it'll be. Ooh, okay, it does not like that. Okay, All right, we'll downshift, that's fine. Or not. That's, it's weird getting used to this uh, semi, but. Come on now. I'm not this bad at driving manual. Come on. I mean, it's like pretty realistic, but you gotta stop like way earlier. It's way different to a car. We're gonna get on the road here and um, I'm gonna hook on to a, the biggest trailer I can find and just see how well this thing will tell it. Tilt deck trailer. What's the most? This, this looks like it's 9,600 kilograms. All right. Well, we need a 40 foot bumper pull trailer. We'll need to change the hitch configuration on this, I think, which if you want to get vehicle, vehicle, configuration front hitch coupler pintle hitch coupler so it should hook on now and yeah the deck load we can do 10 wood pallet stacks for 14,000 kilograms hey google what is 14,000 kilograms to pounds So, yeah, like 30,000 pounds plus 20,000 pounds. So we're going to have like 50,000 pounds with this semi. All right, so, um, oh, come on now. Um, we're going to have to kind of get backed up here. Since the mirrors don't work in this game yet, so. Uh, 
Oh, okay, so we hit the trailer. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the parking brake on. Hop out of this thing. Okay. Well, it should hook up. So, we'll just use my really strong strength. Okay, so, you know, probably shouldn't be like that. Um, I don't know how I can fix this. I don't know if I can lower the hitch on that. I don't know if I can raise the hitch on the trailer. So it's just going to have to be how it's going to have to be. So hopefully we don't crash. Um, I don't know. Honestly, if we do, we'll be going for a ride. So, all right. First gear. Right. Okay, so we're speeding up kind of slow. I'd hate to have to get up here and actually have to turn around because we don't get up to speed fast enough, but doing 27, 28. Not going to shift quite yet. I think we'll hit 30 first. Just, you know. Right. Come on. It, you have to climb here. You. Come on, you gotta work with me a little bit here, semi. We can't be stuck going 30, okay? We got we got to get to the gotta get to the job site. We gotta get there fast. So we at least have to do if I can get this thing up to 50 within what was it, a, uh, a mile. If it can get up to 50 miles per hour within a mile, then I, I would say it's good. Um, it's just gonna be how it's gonna be, cause uh, pretty sure we're might not gonna make it um we're going to 40 right now um fourth gear and we're just chugging along get some outside view here so uh yeah that trailer definitely looks a little sketchy but uh i mean overall it's seems like it's doing just fine come on semi just a little bit more i wonder if i should i put it in low range oh Okay, okay, fifth gear, fifth gear, all right. I don't know what I did, but the engine, um, you know, the check engine light came down at the bottom left of my screen, so that's that's probably not good. Actually, I don't think low is the best way to go, I think. So, um, we can only do about 40. Um, this thing just seems like it's not having enough power. Um, I wonder if once we get up to our turnaround spot up here, we're at 1.3 miles and we've only made it to 42 miles per hour and been holding that pretty steady. Um, I wonder if I put a bigger supercharger or turbocharger in the semi truck to wonder if that would how much it's gonna help out because it will help out i just want to know how much it will so I'm just you know driving along 40 miles per hour i mean you'd, you'd get there you'd get there slow but you would get there so um let's look at our mpg real quick uh average fuel consumption to uh, 2.2 or, or 2.5 miles per gallon so I don't know how good that is for a semi truck but that's probably pretty decent okay we got a little downhill right here so I'm gonna go ahead and shift okay so we made it to 50 uh, for two miles so I'm gonna go ahead and slow down here come on shift Shift. All right, so we made it. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna drop my trailer like that. I'm gonna pull up a little bit, so or not. All right, so All right. we had the T three hundred. Thanks for stalling. We had the T three hundred um uh, turbocharger, and now we have the T six hundred, which is the biggest option you can get. To dump the clutch there. I don't know if we can whip Big Bertha around. Oh. Put it in reverse here. Uh, holy crap. I guess.
guess as far as we can go. We might have to jackknife this a little bit, but I think we should be fine. Right, I mean, hey, as long as we don't hit anything, we should be fine. All right, so this already seems like it has way more power. So if you're going to be having the max weight you can in the back of your semi, and then you're going to be towing the max weight that you can, you probably want to get a pretty big engine option and a pretty big turbo option. So... We'll see at two miles, we'll see how fast we're going, and then we can see how good we'll break. All right, so we just hit 55 at 17, about 1,700 yards. So yeah, 1,800 yards is one mile, so it takes about a mile to get up to 55, and we just keep on climbing, so it's definitely doing way better. And we have more than two miles that I can go to see what the absolute top speed on this is, so I, that's, I'm very curious about that. Oh, storming around a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we're doing 60. All right, 60 would be fine, because you probably don't want to go any faster than that. Um, this thing doesn't seem like it's going to climb anymore. If anything, it's starting to decline. Um, so at two miles, we got up to 60 miles per hour, where we only did about 50 with the T300 turbocharger. So, oh, I seen 61. Okay, we're going to keep going on this long stretch until we cannot go any farther. And I just want to see the absolute top speed. Well, you can see my skid marks for when I stopped there. But, you know, okay, so we hit 63. All right, while we're driving, I just want to check what... So, yeah, 2.2 miles per gallon, but you're getting there way faster, so it's probably worth it. We can go 435, 338, you know, miles. So, you know, 400 miles... On average, because you're going to be idling and stuff if you're at stoplights or what so have you. So, going up this hill, this thing is climbing up this hill, and it's climbing up this hill really well. I've seen it get up to 64, I think. So, it is doing pretty well. Um, it likes to cruise at about 60, and I don't know if I would go any farther than that. Um, I just want to see what the cruise control will do. If I can set it. We'll just get to 65 here if we can. So I just want to see if the cruise control will make this thing idle down in the RPMs, but still make it go close to the same speed. And it's looking like it's not wanting to. So we're going to see, yeah, 3 miles per gallon, but we're going 60 miles per hour, so... Yeah, all right. We got to step in here. We got to take the cruise control off. We got to step back here. We lost all of our momentum coming off this big hill. Uh-oh, will we make it to this, our delivery spot? Gonna have to start braking. All right, we'll have to in here and give this guy his delivery of his metal pipes and wood um who would order this much wood and metal pipe um i don't know you must be building a house or something but that concludes this new bmg drive update hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you guys like subscribe to the bell post notifications Stay tuned to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification. And yes, there will be more exciting videos coming soon. So we'll catch you guys next time. Wade Farms.